and welcome back to Cooking for Two 101. I'm Christy, that's John. Today we're making a chicken caprese sandwich. Kind of like a burger, but with chicken that's not ground up. Caprese is basically tomato, basil, and mozzarella with a balsamic vinaigrette drizzled all over it. It's so delicious. It's an amazing combination. And I thought, let's put it on a chicken sandwich and see how that works out. So that's what we're going to start with. I have my pan heating up here. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. What we want the chicken to do when it gets in here is to sear nicely, get a little bit of um, crust on the outside, and then we're going to put it in the oven to finish cooking. I do have the lid of my fine axe in there. I'm gonna put it on at the end and it's gonna finish cooking um, and then we'll add some cheese. Right now we're getting ready to um, just make this chicken into a, a chicken burger and by that, to do that, what we're going to do is cut it down the middle this way so that it's easier to cook. There we go. That's way better. Okay, we have a big guy and a little guy, but it'll be fine. Okay, next what we're going to do is season our chicken and finally got some more of my favorite uh, spice mix. It's garlic, herb, and black pepper and sea salt, but what it has in it is onion, sea salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, parsley, thyme, and garlic oil, but I'm telling you, get this, it's delicious. Uh, if you can't get this, make your own. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit more effort. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the outside of my chicken. Yum, oh look, my pan's getting hot. You can see it's smoking. See that, yum. You can see the oil is rippling, and that's when you wanna put this in. And you're gonna hear it, here it comes. Ah. Yep. So these are pretty thin. As soon as uh, they get a little bit brown on one side, I'm gonna flip them over and put them in the oven to finish. Uh, and that's gonna take about two, maybe three minutes, not very long at all. We'll be right back. Okay, so I just flipped them. They're beautiful. I'm going to add now some layers of mozzarella, cause yum, who doesn't like that? And now I'm going to also put on the lid, which has been in my oven getting hot. And that's going to help seal in the juices, cook the chicken the rest of the way, and melt the cheese. Oh, that's so heavy. All right, my oven is set at 400 degrees. It's gonna take about five minutes. We'll be back then. Okay, so the chicken's in the oven. Now I'm gonna prepare the bread for the burger part. I'm using a focaccia square. Uh, you could just buy this at the bakery, at your grocery store, it's, it's not hard to find. What I like about it is it has a lot of holes in it, so it just really sucks up all this butter that we're gonna put on it to make it juicy and delicious. You could also put um, avocado, I mean uh, olive oil on this, that would also be yummy. Um, but there's also a lot of avocado oil in the pesto that we're going to use and we cook the chicken in the avocado oil so I think butter might be my friend at this point. Okay so I'm just going to stick this uh, focaccia bread and butter in the oven in about three minutes so that the chicken takes about five. This is only going to take a few minutes less than that and so we'll pull them out at the same time and then we'll finish on. Okay, while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to make the mayonnaise or dressing or whatever you want to call it to go on the sandwich. This is two tablespoons of mayo. And I have here some uh, pesto. This my friend Linda made pesto. You could buy store-bought pesto or you could make your own pesto. It's pretty easy. It's just nuts and Parmesan and basil and you blend it all up and then you add some olive oil. But uh, since she was kind enough to make this for me, I'm gonna use it for this um, sa sandwich. So uh, about a teaspoon of pesto, two tablespoons of, wait a minute, yeah, two tablespoons of mayo. And because it's um, caprese style, I'm gonna add just a dash of balsamic vinegar. Uh, it gives it that really nice vinegary bite. Um, it's just going to make the chicken pop. It's going to make the tomatoes pop. It's just, it's really going to be amazing. Okay, this is done. We're ready to party. All we need to do is wait a couple minutes. We'll put the bread in, we'll get it out, and we'll build a sandwich. The chicken cooked for about three minutes. 
with the lid on, it makes it very hot and preheating the lid makes it even hotter. All you want to do is make sure that your chicken cooks completely. So if you temp it with a thermometer and it reaches 160, you can let it rest up to 165 and that's when it's safe to eat. I also um, toasted the focaccia bread in the oven under the broiler. It just took a couple seconds. Look at how beautiful it is. Now I'm going to put the pesto mayonnaise that we need on the bread because that's going to make it even better. Who doesn't like pesto mayo? I can't think of anybody. Yeah. Okay, and let's take a look at our chicken. Be careful. The lid is hot. Oops, I need this. All right, here she comes. Oh, look at, oh, she's beautiful. Very hot. Okay, there she goes. Yum. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay, I've sliced up some tomatoes. There's some salt and pepper on there. I'm going to put those on. I also have some, uh, just some basil leaves. I'm just going to rip them and put those on top as well uh, for a little freshness. Uh, basil a little peppery, so it's going to add a nice flavor to our sandwich. Pop the top on. Give it a little cut. No, I don't have the right knife for that. We'll try this one. Oh, it looks beautiful. I'm so excited. Yum. And there we have it. The Caprese chicken sandwich. I'm going to let it cool off for a little bit. Come back and give it a try. Okay, for a little extra fun and excitement, you can add some balsamic vinegar to your tomatoes, which is what I did. It gives it a little bit more, I don't know, depth of flavor. It, that vinegar bites really nice, especially with all of this bread. Mm. That pesto mayo is the bomb. Like, I put that on pretty much anything. It's so good. Mm. Chicken's perfectly cooked, very juicy. The mozzarella has a, a little bit of crunch in there because we cooked it in there with the chicken. It got a little crusty. Yum. Okay, give this recipe a try. Leave your comments below because we like to hear what you think. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.